Friends, would you like to know the financial planning myths that you need to stop believing? Would you like to know the correct information about financial planning? Then this episode is for you. Hi friends, I am Rupakumar Pradhan, Certified Financial Planner, Chartered Wealth Manager and author of the best-selling book, Joyful Retirement, the seven-step strategy for healthy, wealthy and early retirement. I help my clients to achieve financial freedom in life. Friends, welcome to this episode of Roof Fintech Show for you. I want to tell you nine financial myths that you need to stop listening to. In the last episode, we have discussed the past three financial planning myths. In this video, we'll discuss following three crucial financial planning myths. Before starting, friends, let me tell you that this topic is a series of videos for your easy understanding and help you make a decision. I request you, please don't miss any videos which will help you. Financial planning is a path to achieve financial freedom and being wealthy in life. Not everyone is born with a silver spoon, but some people can turn their faith around with financial planning and investments. Experts believe that it's not about earning more income, but about wisely investing what you earn that makes you rich. It is all about finding a balance and sticking to a plan that works best for you and achieve financial freedom in life. Myth number four, I can do it all on my own. Truth, it would be impossible to handle everything on your own. While there are lot of things you can and should take into your own hands, it would be unwise to think that you would be able to do everything on your own when it comes to your personal finances. Can you provide the right amount of time and some dedicated study? Can you develop the expertise within 15 days, within one month or reading some articles? Can you create the required knowledge about complex products and can read the nitty gritty of various instruments? Can you synchronize the tax issues, your investment schemes and your financial goals in future years? Many more questions are there, but the answer is no. Let me ask two questions so that you can understand them. Do you go to doctors when you get sick? Of course, I'll go. Do you take your car to the car mechanic? Yes, boss, I do. At some point or another, you will require some level of intervention and support from additional tools, services and financial professionals. Myth number 5. Financial planning is too expensive. Truth, financial planning can be expensive. However, that's not always the case. Some specialists help us in our life like doctors, lawyers, architects, chartered accountants, career counselors, gym trainers, etc. We also routinely take the help of a mechanic, driver, caterer, or travel agents, etc. to make our life easy. They also charge fees for providing their services. Good financial planners will charge fees. Financial planners charge fees based on the asset under management, one-time payments, yearly fees or monthly fees or hourly basis fees or commission on the products or schemes you purchase through them. You discuss the fee structure with your financial planner and proceed with your financial plan. Financial planners can have different methods to charge fees and so the process may vary from one to another. It's up to you to settle on a particular process and work with the financial advisor. So make sure he does everything in your best interest. Financial planning has become more affordable. Yes, financial planning has become more accessible for everyday household. Myth number six, financial planning is only for the wealthy. Truth, financial planning is for everyone. If you earn an income, manage expenses, have some financial responsibility level, have some financial goals or want to achieve financial independence in life, then financial planning is a must. Traditionally speaking, financial planning were reserved only for five-figure earners with substantial money in their accounts. 
This belief is a natural killer for far too many households as it prevents many from getting started with financial planning in the first place. You can start with rupees thousand per hour to avail financial planning services. There is a big misconception that financial planning is only for wealthy. The truth, however, is that financial planning is a path for anyone actually to gain wealth. The objective of financial planning is to get the people to their desired life goals. It doesn't matter when you start or how much money you have. All that matters is that you get to those final goals. Friends, we have discussed three financial planning myths that you need to stop believing. So let me take a quick recap. You need to know the financial myths. Myth number four, I can do it all on my own. Myth number five, financial planning is too expensive. Myth number six, financial planning is only for the wealthy. If you don't know about the financial planning myths and truths of first, second and third, please watch the previous video. I request you, please don't miss any future series of videos that will help you. Dear viewers, by watching this video, if you got some insights about financial planning myths and truths, please like this video. Please like and share it. Friends, in the future, if you want to learn more about new concepts, new ideas, savings and investment mantras or various schemes, or if you are going to take your financial knowledge to new heights with this channel, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or doubts, please share your views in the comment section. Friends, please don't forget to share this video with your near and dear ones. Thank you so much for watching this episode with Rupin Talks. I'll be back with you with new financial planning myths in the next episode.